Hello to all the beautiful souls out there in the world. Welcome to the Intellectual Party channel, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And today we will talk about how to end it from the second line in Word APA style. Now I will show you three different ways to indent your citations. And the first one goes like this. After you have highlighted the paragraph you wanted to indent, you will use one hand and use the finger to hold the shift button continuously while you do your movement and then the other hand to handle the mouse. What you will need to do if you're right-handed, I will explain to you with the right hand. And if you are left-handed, you just use the opposite hand. You will hold with the left finger the shift button on the keyboard. And with your right hand, depending on the word version you use, you will see two little triangles. They look like a sand clock. Just like you see in the video, you will put the mouse on the little triangle and you will drag it to your right. Once you have completed your citations, you want to indent. You will then highlight this section with the mouse, with the left hand click. A box is represented on the screen. Now you will right hand click. You will see a dialog box which will open and it will give you the option. You will select paragraph. Once you select paragraph, another dialog will appear. And from these pictures, I will let you read them. And you can even pause it so you make sure you know which steps to take next. This part is just to show you you can end it just one citation or you can do much more for your references. All you need to do is to follow the movements of the mouse like in most videos and with the previous advice given. You will be able to end it a whole page if needed for your citations. There's also another way to find the dialog box for the paragraph. What you will need to do is to click on layout is the fourth option on the top next to home. And then you will see insert and you will see eventually layout. Once you click on layout, you will see three dots appear. You will click on them to access the dialog box for the paragraph. And from the dialog box for the paragraph, you will know how to proceed. Once again, all you need to do is to follow the mouse and you shall be fine. This is the same process, just with a different version and the version is in French. This part is extra. If you found everything you needed to know how to do the citations and you're okay, this is it. However, for those who have more questions about APA and sometimes they are unsure how to put the year, the name of the author and the book. This part is, is for you. And for those who are interested, there's even an online generator which will help you to create your APA paragraph if you have a harder time to do it for your work. And the description below, the first link I will put will be the script where you can generate your APA. This website is very interesting because there are many features you may want to look if you want to find out more about APA. The way I decided to do this is I put the name of the étranger, it's a book in French, and I go on Wikipedia. And once I have the link, I will put it in the generator and it will give me the information I need. On the generator page, I selected the first one, but it did not really give me what I wanted. So I prefer to use the second one and I copy the link from Wikipedia and the generator box parameter. And what it will do, it will generate the APA the way I need to copy it in my text. Once the generator has produced the information for your citations to do your APA, you can either recopy everything and type it, or you can just copy it. The only thing, depending on the word version you use, if you just copy and paste it, it will give it to you and the style of your font may be different as you copy and paste it to show you when you copy something from the internet, you'll be able with these techniques, I will show you so you can have it in the same styles of font you had in the document you're currently working. 
especially when you copy something online with different styles and different fonts you want to make sure when you paste it in your document without having to rewrite the whole thing you want to make sure you know how to do it in the same style you are working because it may be long for you to have to type it all over again especially when you use a tool to make you go even faster When you want to paste the text you copied, you right click and you will have the option which says paste text only in some word versions or what you do, you look for the styles wherever you can find the styles, whether it's in French or in English In French, it's in format. And then you go in style. If you're looking for the style, you will see Usually it has a big capital A and once you find the style, you either select none or you select clear formatting. So whichever you choose will take out all the different styles and different fonts so you can have it in the same text document you're currently working on. So much for the time you took to watch this video. It was dearly appreciated. My time on earth is really precious. So take care of yourself, take care of your family, and please be safe out there. When you read an article or watch a video, keep in mind to have a critical mind because it is the only way to grow. And what is true today may change tomorrow.